my plan is is for this to be a short little video on how to change the headlamp lamp bulb in my 2016 Ford Territory. Now, in theory, you can get down in here. I have already actually already removed the bulb because I had to go and get a new one. Um, so in theory, you can get your hand down in here and get it out and that's fine. But in actual fact, it's much easier if you take a bit more time and remove the battery. So a little uh, 10 mil socket set is ideal for disconnecting the battery. And the reason that I'm wearing gloves is that because when it comes to actually changing the bulb, because they are halogen bulbs, and as with all halogen bulbs, you shouldn't actually touch them, I have got gloves on. One and two. And then it's just a 12 mil bolt down in here for the battery retainer. Now in theory you can change the light bulbs without doing all of this and even without any tools but I found it easier if I removed the battery and as it happens this battery is um, past its best before anyway and so I'm replacing that as well. Now that I've done that I can open the packet Hopefully I can open the packet. Now that I've smashed my way into the container, basically I had to break this leg off here and then the, the top would come off. So I'm assuming, there we go. So now it pops open. So I have actually spent some extra money and bought some more not more powerful because they're still only 55 watt, but uh, they give more light. The downside, of course, is that they actually don't last as long. So if I show you that, um, you can see there they only last about half the time that an ordinary one does. But as I would expect to get 10 years out of an ordinary bulb, then I should be able to get five years out of these. So. As my old eyes are a bit older, uh, they appreciate the extra light. So now I'm just figuring this out because... Presumably that goes a certain... Oh, hang on, I think I've done that the wrong way around. Because I can see on this other side, there's a little gap. And that will fit in better. There we go. So it appears that that is, it only goes one way. So I've just grabbed the headlamp because it's going to be much easier with a bit more light. So I'll pull this. This is the, the cover that goes on the back of the housing. And then if I take this camera, hopefully I can shine it down in there. And you might be able to see, you can see down in here that that, obviously you need to rotate it this way to lock it into place. So when you're taking it out, you turn it this way. So if you were, yeah, from rotate it that way and rotate it that way to lock it in. And this goes in here. So that's now in, and I can tuck the tuck the wire back inside the housing. It's got the heat protection on it, and put the cover back over. So to get the 
bulb out, the first thing you need to do is disconnect this connector here. And it's got little clip things on the side of it. So if you just spring those a bit, there we go. So they just, they basically just slide in and there's a little bit that catches on the side. But it's only on the one side, so you just spring that and then you can get that out of the way. So we'll just take that down there for now, out of the way. I just used a little fine screwdriver to get in there. Then we can take this seal off and get the cord out. Now, hopefully this one I can coach out. In the end, I ended up putting glove on the other hand. It was easier. So, and then it, it popped out okay. The, I'll just show you while I've got this one out. So that's the way it sits in there. So the wire at the bottom and this little bit here needs to be on this side. So when you put it in, put it in like that and rotate it that way. So, and this just pops out. So Now this bulb, actually, there's, it's still functioning, but because I'm upgrading the other one, I've decided to do both of them at the same time. So again, you can see there, this little titty bit here that sticks out, let's have some more light on that, that there goes on that side. Okay, so that goes in there. So I grab this one, same side, same side, plug that in there. Then this should be a reasonably straightforward insert down here. So horizontal, plug that in there and then rotate it until it clicks in like so. Just give it a bit of a, a pull to make sure it's in and then all the red cable needs to go inside the hole. Well, it's actually a sheathing because of the heat. And then put the cover back on. So that was actually easier than the other side because there's slightly more room. And then plug this back in. Again, this goes on the side where the little... And make sure it's well home. So push it till it clicks. So that was all reasonably straightforward once I'd figured it out. Uh, Hopefully that's helpful to somebody.